Hey everybody, what's up? It's Junior and Chill here. And actually today, I got some news. At least it's in English this time. That makes it a little easier. But we got some more Genshin Impact news. I'll get right to it. It's two pieces of news. Pretty cool stuff. The first one is, I guess, maybe like the less exciting one. <laughs> so we'll go over it. Uh, it's just pretty much there's going to be a, there's a bunch of bugs or not even so much bugs. It's just things that are described in a certain way that will you'll get an actual different result. So what they're saying is that they're going through um, the game and looking at the feedback um, and looking to see to maybe, you know, polish up the actual descriptions of moves and for characters for and also for artifacts in the game. So. Uh, what they're saying here is that we have discovered descriptions of certain characters and artifacts do not adequately explain their effects. These descriptions will be revised in their new 1.1 update. After these revisions, descriptions for these characters and artifacts will uh, accurately reflect their corresponding effects. The following description revisions are all text fixes. No changes will be made to actual effects of any characters or equipment that are currently released. Meaning that everything is working as it's intended, but is not written as it's working. That's the best way to put that. So things like if you look at Amber's related description fix for her precise shot, uh, aim shots hit on weak points, increase base attack by 15% for 10 seconds. What it'll be saying after the update is aim shot uh, hits on weak points, increase attack by 15%. The difference between base attack and ba uh, regular attack is the fact that your base attack on most characters is like three or 400 attack which is not that much but your actual attack could be like 800 900 some people have like 2000 uh attack so that is a significant difference it means people are like looking at stuff and it's like this doesn't look that crazy and eh, you know whatnot this is actually pretty significant now that's how the game actually currently works so you don't have to really worry about like oh is it working correctly like it's working correctly it's just not explained correctly in a way that makes the best sense in english i guess or things like where, you know, if you have Amber, your your uh, stamina consumption while gliding is now less. But what it means to say is that it's only while you have the character in your party and then that's these things do not stack. It doesn't have to like explain that because people have like Venti and Amber and they're like, oh, so if I run both of them, I have 40 percent less consumption. No, that's not the case. Uh, you need to have, you know, one of the characters in the party and that one person will give you the effect. So it pretty much goes through that they have like, you know, the precise shot's going to get fixed, gliding champion, the constellations like wildfire are going to get fixed, like how it's worded. Uh, everything is working. Like I said, as intended, it's just not explained correctly. So Barbara's descriptions are going to get fixed. Uh, a lot of her abilities do sound kind of confusing, and they're going to be making them a little bit less confusing for that. And then you got uh, things also. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, Barbara has like pretty much her whole thing is reworked where it will make a lot more sense to a lot more people when you read it and you're like, oh, okay, I got you, I got you. So this kind of explains like her healing ability where, you know, you need to uh, use normal attacks to heal characters and nearby allies for a certain amount of HP, which scales off of Bar Barbara's max HP. Um, her charge attack generates four times the amount of healing. So you definitely want to be charge attacking with a Barbara to do big heals with your RT or your uh, E ability, whatever you're replaying on. So, and then also you get a regen on there on your characters and applies the wet size to characters. So you can use that to do elemental reactions. Uh, let's see. Also as for her other abilities, her constellations, like Barbara has the most grammatical, like, you know, fixings that she needs to do. We got stuff for Bido, we got stuff for Chi Chi, we got things for uh, Sing Shu, Water Boy. He's getting certain stuff change so it makes more sense when people read it the good thing about this is when you guys go, go through your abilities you'll probably like understand it slightly better you'll be able to be like oh you know what this character actually might be kind of good because i like to play this way it has a move for a play style that i would like to explore which makes that a lot better also officials uh, description are going to be corrected kaya klee she's not even out yet but you there is a mission where you can play as klee right now so that's kind of where you're to be able to see this stuff. Razor is going to get uh, fixed for like one of his abilities or how it's written, which is the, you know, running around stamina. Uh, Noel's things are going to get fixed. Gene, Sucrose, Fenty, Bennett, the Luke. I'll link this in the, in the comments so you guys can read through this, you know, in depth if you really want to. But as you can see, and then even Traveler, and then they have some artifacts are going to get fixed too. So Defender set, the Exile set, 
Um, and then for there's also there is one bug they found currently or two bugs, I guess, uh, fixes to jump canceling Barbara and Mona's charge attacks. After a review of, uh, from our developers, it's been confirmed that there is an issue with the visual effects of Barbara and Mona's charge attack. They're still shown after the attacks uh, are canceled by jumping. The issue will be fixed in version 1.1. This issue uh, after this issue is fixed, the effects of Barbara and Mona's charge attack will also stop when canceled with a jump. So pretty much people are uh, anti canceling by jumping and pretty much running the charge attack, even though they're no longer charge attacking. So they caught that right there. They're going to be fixing that. So that'll be actually changed here in the future. And, you know, they're apologizing for inconveniences that these things might cause. Um, potential that they'll compensate us, right? They'll have conversation for all this stuff. If they, especially if the patch takes any kind of time where, like, you know, it takes that time out of being able to play. Now, the really fun news part here is called the Elemental Crucible co-op event. This is an alchemy event where you'll be doing co-op stuff. People are asking like, hey, we really want some co-op stuff for Genshin. We need more co-op things. So here is our first co-op uh, co <laughs> co activity. Um, try to say co-op and activity at the same time. Co-op. There you go. Elemental uh, Crucible co-op event is about to begin. Work together with a traveler to shovel elemental clots into the Elemental Crucible to advance the alchemical process. After the alchemical transmutation is complete, consume original resin, resin aka your stamina, to uh, receive bounties including character XP materials. So you got the character XP books, adventure XP, so you can get to level up your AR, and more bounties will be calculated based on each traveler's individual world level, which is great because that means it's going to calculate it based off of what level you are. So like your world level five friends can play together with your world level one friends and still everybody benefits equally to what they're supposed to be getting based off of the world level, which is awesome because I was kind of worried about that when I read about this at first. I was like, oh, we're going to do a co-op event. I wonder who is it going to scale off of. That's the first thing I thought about. And I'm so glad that they address it right away by saying. It's based off of your world level, which is great. Not the actual one <laughs> that you're in, but actually like the fact of like, hey, I'm this world level. This is how much I'll get, which is good. You can obtain these uh, such rewards, such as Primo Gems, which you can use to pull or use for stamina refreshes, character ascension materials, good, and more by completing achievements in the Al uh, Alchemy Handbook. So I guess we're going to have a Alchemy Handbook, which is pretty much going to be another like source of achievements pretty much for us to do kind of like the adventures handbook that we currently have. It's really awesome, right? Once the event has been unlocked, it tells you you can just push F5 if you're on PC or you can hold L1 and selecting it from the compass wheel on PS4 controller or if you're on this controller on, on PC, you can do the same thing. Um, the start time is actually in the game. So if we go here. They have just announced it a little bit ago. Uh, of what time stuff will be so it will start on the 12th aka tomorrow there you go guys tomorrow it starts at i guess 10 a.m it's gonna go on until the 19th so it's a like a literally a seven day seven days i think so something like that somebody check my math but seven day uh event so it'll go on until the reset which is gonna be really cool so it starts from it's pretty much like literally tomorrow's weekly reset you have to be adventure rank 20 or higher to complete and complete all quests in prologue two uh, tomorrow without tears. Prologue act two. So pretty much you got to finish uh, Storm Terror. If you haven't finished Storm Terror yet, guys, you cannot participate in this event. So make sure you guys knock out Storm Terror. It's relatively easy to do. You just pretty much, you know, make sure you collect some of your, your teleport spots, your Geoculuses and your Anemoculuses and other stuff like that. And you'll be able to join and like, you know, have enough XP to be able to fight Storm Terror, complete Storm Terror, and then you're good to go. I think I believe it's like Act 2 is where you've got, you're completing it, or at least where you're going right up to it. So you gotta, you gotta finish Prologue Act 2. You can be able, uh, easily check that in your quest section. If you go to see like, hey, where am I at? I think it's like right here, I guess is the thing. So you need to be Prologue Act 2. So it's even before Storm Terror, actually. Uh, tears about tomorrow. So finish this whole thing. You got to end up at. I don't know chasing shadows. So you got to go to the part where you're at the bar pretty much with the Luke and Jean. So once you finish that part where you actually purify tears for the first time in the bar, boom, you're done. And then that's right before you go fight Storm Terror. So you don't even have to go to Storm Terror like that part right there. The bar is super fast and early. So you just got to pretty much get your rank to 20. Easy peasy. And you guys can participate in the event with everybody. 
So if you guys are have any more questions about this, whatnot, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, leave it below. I'll be leaving links for these things inside the descriptions. Hope you guys enjoyed your news video. And as soon as we have some more news, guys, I'll be posting up more videos for that and also be posting up guides. I have a Klee video and a Gene uh, video are coming out very, very soon. So look forward to those two things. Thanks so much, guys. I will see you later.